Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013, checking out the newest from Vuzix. How's it going, Ron? It's going great. It's been a great crowd and a lot of interest. Uh, most definitely, because this is like nothing I've seen before. What exactly am I wearing right now? That's the Fusix M100. It's a hands-free accessory for your smartphone, so you can get all of your video, uh, audio uh, available hands-free. You can run applications directly on the device, or you can use it in conjunction with a uh, Android or an iOS device and load your apps on there and uh, catch all your video on the screen. And you can also use the uh, onboard 1080p camera for capturing video. So this kind of seems like a, a bit of a departure from the norm that I'm used to you guys uh, with your like warp product lines. And I know that you also do some other specialized stuff for government. You know, how much of a departure was this really for you guys to start engineering something really consumer focused for what your everyday smartphone, right? Well, actually, this is our third generation of monocular displays. As you'd mentioned, we did a lot of them in the past for the military, and uh, we do industrial models. And uh, we wanted to bring more of that technology to the consumer market. And the big difference with this one is uh, that it has an onboard processor running an Android operating system, and putting the smarts on board changes the game. I, I I know that just changes everything since you're able to not have to have this tethered to a phone, but you can tether it to the phone. What are the different modes of operation with this? Well, there's, there's three modes of operation. Um, you can run app, apps directly on the device and control it uh, with buttons on the device. Uh, or if you want, you can also load software such as the Android voice recognition yeah. software to, to add voice control. Uh, you can hook it into a software app that runs on a smartphone. Um, and that connection would be wireless. You can also uh, run your apps on a smartphone, uh, again, Android or iOS, and view them in the uh, M100. There's also a third and new type of uh, operating mode where you can have applications that run on both sides, both on the M100 and on the smartphone. So is there like a special API where the applet needs to application on your smartphone needs to be customly crafted to know how to access this display? For something like that, where you're going to use some of the special features, yes. And we, we are actually shipping the SDKs. Uh, they started uh, going out about a week ago to the developers. And you say this is a full Android uh, device here on my head. Uh, what is the experience like for this Android device, given that you've got a limited input and output here? It's a, what, a QWVGA display. So what is that, 600, 640 by 300, 320, something like that? No, actually, it, it's a lower resolution than that. Uh, QVGA and the, the W and the WQVGA just means that it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But it's hard to compare it with a regular monitor because you're looking at it so close to your eye, you wouldn't find anyone visiting the view here or the booth here that thinks it's under 720p. The resolution looks that good. And so how have you uh, changed the Android operating system so that it makes sense to use it on a device like this, say if I don't tether it to my phone? Um, well, it's a standard Android operating system. Back, you can load standard Android apps right into it. Where it really starts to shine, though, is when you take apps and customize them for the device. The customization might be as simple as um, if you're using it, say, in an app for a car, you want big, bold indicators. So instead of having small little icons on the screen, you have something that fills up a large part of the screen so it immediately catches the driver's attention. In other cases, if you're using it for something like uh, augmented reality, uh, there you might have the processing for the video done right on board on the processor so that there's virtually no lag, uh, no latency whatsoever, and use your smartphone for accessing your data and content and, and so forth. So it depends on what you're using it for. And so I could imagine maybe I'm, I've got this in my motorcycle helmet some way or another and I, I've got like Google Maps navigation just like I would on my regular Android phone and then I see where my exit is or I can see my speedometer or, or things of that nature. Um, how does the, the technology actually change from some of the stuff that you've done in the past with like your, your augmented reality, rap series, and things like that? Um, the products in the past, I mean, um, it's, it's almost a bad thing to say, but they were dumb products. They didn't really have any intelligence on board. So they worked as a display, they worked as a camera, but they were always reliant upon whatever device they were hooked on to the, the other end. Whereas this, it's a self-contained product. You can enhance it by hooking it into an external device, but you can do a lot right on board with the processor. So what are those external devices that I can hook this to? 
um, any Android or iOS device. And so when I do that, do I actually see the display on my Android or iOS device, or do I see parts of the app, or do they have to be custom written for it? Um, you would see you'd see the app on the screen. The only difference would be um, if the app has been uh, formatted for that display ratio. For instance, if you run an iPad, you're going to have to cut down on the resolution, cut down on the content versus an iPhone where you'd be able to put pretty much mirror, mirror the display. All right, cool. And what are some of the specs of like the camera? And I, I hear, see this has got a microphone. We've got Wi-Fi on board. We've got Bluetooth. Tell me about those. Well, you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, in fact, with the Wi-Fi, you've got enough power on board that you can hook it directly into a hotspot, not just your laptop or iPhone. Um, it's completely adjustable. The, uh, there's a number of uh, head mounting systems available over the head, behind the head, over the ear. The boom for the display is adjustable. It bends like a little Gumby bear, and it also uh, goes in and out. It's extendable. And then the display itself tilts up and down to get the right viewing angle. Uh, we've got two microphones on board, one for catching your audio, the other for catching the external audio for noise canceling. And uh, of course, we've got a 1080p uh, high def camera on board. That's what I'm excited about. I want to be able to record HD video wherever I'm looking, have the viewfinder right there. Um, who is this mar uh, targeted towards? Uh, what's the kind of price point and when can I get one? Well, it's really, it's got a very broad market. Anyone who has a smartphone is going to have some application that it'll work with. So it, it's hard to define that. Price-wise, uh, we haven't set a final price on it, but uh, we're expecting it's going to be under $500. So it's going to be a very affordable consumer product. And when can we expect to see these in the market? Well, that's the big question. We're uh, currently uh, uh, planning on shipping some developer units out in the uh, end of the first quarter, uh, additional ones in the second quarter. The final retail product is uh, approximately mid-year this year. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Ron. NPR has a great public radio app that is compatible with Ford Sync AppLink. This means that when you're in your car and you're on the go and you don't want to touch your phone, you don't have to. You have all your favorite playlists, all your favorite NPR shows right on your phone, ready for voice commands. Hourly News. I'm Louise Schiavone. House Republican leaders are challenging So if you want to listen to your favorite shows like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, you just have them right there in your new Ford car. Thank you again to Ford for sponsoring this Hack 5 CES special.